How's it everyone? Okay, so this is just a quick uh, video and tutorial on how to incorporate a Sonoff device or essentially any, I guess, Internet of Things device with a Victron uh, inverter. Um, just a little bit of background of our setup. We've got um, 8kVA uh, Victron Quattro and I would like to turn off a load when a certain power or certain current has been reached. Uh, what you'll need for this project is a Victron GX device. Um, this essentially is just to get it to connect to the internet so you can get email reports. You need a Sonoff device with an EWE link uh, account, a, VRMA, a VR, VRM account, email address for automation, and if this, if that, uh, if this, then that account, and then a, a Gmail extension, which is going to be the part. Okay, let's jump straight into it. So first of all, um, you need to add a user. So I've created a new email address and I'm going to call this, oh, caps locks is on. This is going to be my automation email address and this Okay, and then I don't want to give it full access control. So then I'm going to send that an invite. Because I've already created an, a, a, a VRM um, account on this for this name, it just gives me access. And so then I can go and view it if needs be. I don't need to do that now. Okay, so then I, I don't want it to have full control. I just need it to have user control, uh, just emails and everything. Then I'm going to go to my alarm rules. And now I want to first set that I'm going to receive emails to that my automation account. And then I want to go and let me first remove this rule and I'll create it again from scratch. So I want to have a new rule. So when the current goes above 60 amps, I want to turn or above 70 amps, I want to turn off a device. And when it's below 60 amps, turn it on again. So let's add a new rule. It's part of my quattro. The parameter will be input current phase one. And the low, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to just set that at, let's say, one amp and clear it when it's above two. And then here it will be 70 and 60. Now, ideally, I'd like this to be two seconds or one second, but the max, uh, minimum time you can do is 60 seconds. Okay, so there it is. Now, to test this, I want to just go and check. At the moment, 8.2 amps is being drawn in phase one. So I'm going to set this to five amps and it must clear when it's above four. Save all changes. And now an email should come through. I can delete this. Okay, while we wait for this email, you need to go and set up a if this then that account. Okay, so in this, we're going to create an applet now. So we're going to click here. We're going to go and click create. Okay, so if, and we want to go and set if we receive an email. So we go search email. And then we're going to select this one because we're going to crash our, create our own tag. Okay. And the tag we're going to make is turn off. Then what we want to do is we want to trigger an EWE a device, EWE link. And we're going to, because I've only got a single device, you can try this out with all of your devices, but this one works the best for me. I'm going to select this guy. And then it'll show up all your devices on EWE. I've got quite a few, but the fish pond, I want to turn that off when it on. So I'm setting an off device, so we're going to, now I'm going to create the action. Okay, then you can name it whatever you want. I keep this message purely because it gives you all the information that you need for setting up the next uh, next set um, next part. So I'm going to just copy that, create a new email, and just go and put it in here, just to keep. So then we're going to, so email, OK, 
Okay, fantastic. And I don't really need to get push notifications. Okay, turn off. Now we're going to redo all of this to turn it on. So we're just going to do the exact same thing, create a new one. Turn on, create the trigger. Channel one, fish pond, turn it on, create the action. Again, I'm going to copy this. Okay, so now I've made a new connection and I can just go to my applets. Now you'll see there'll be two applets. I go to turn on the fish pond and turn off the fish pond. You can always edit the, the names and everything later on. I should receive an alarm. There we go. Okay, so input phase one current alarm is on, but you see that wasn't there. So I need to go and save the changes so that I can receive an email about it. So I don't know now if I'm going to receive the email. But what we'll do is let's reset it back to 70 and 60. Save all changes. And we have to wait another 60 seconds for it to get cleared. And then I'll get an email. We need both email addresses anyway. Emails anyway. So now we have to go and add an extension because essentially we need to, as it states here, we need to send that that email address with a subject line of that. Um, from this email address to turn off the fish pond and the alternative to turn it on. One thing that I've noted is this email address here is case sensitive. So in your if this then that uh, email address in your email um, in your account you have this has to be this email address has to be identical to, um, it, it is, sorry, it, it, this is case sensitive. Don't put any capital letters in here when creating your account. Okay, going back to my apps. Okay, now we're going to go and add to Chrome. Okay, I want to add this extension. Now it's going to open up. Now I've done this before, so I won't need to do a, a one step, but I'll show you now exactly how and what happens. Okay, it opens up your email, showing that there's nothing here, but there'll be something that pops up now in a second over here. Give it a moment. Okay. So first of all, we've seen it's cleared. The alarm has been cleared and it gives you exactly what it is. So let's go and set the alarm again. So five, two, three, save all changes so that the alarm goes high again. Okay. So as I said, the side panel has opened up. So what we want to do is we want to go click create and we want to create a new rule. Let's close this for now. Okay, my, the rule I'm going to make is trigger off. And now you're going to have to create a share inbox or something. You can select, out, uh, you have to create one. So I would recommend creating one. So I've previously done this before. So you might see old triggers of mine, but let's take you through the step. So it's going to be a new conversation and we want it to be from a, if an email subject contains, and now we're going to do
Okay, so now that we've got the input one phase current alarm, we'll see the email comes through and there's the parameter. So what we want to do is when the alarm is on, we want this subject. Okay, started. So the nice thing about it, the email subject must start with, and then we give a, condi a condition. Then we must send it an we must send an email. Now we're going to email. We, who do we need to email? As it says here, we need to email this person, this email address that it's turned off. Yeah. So what we'll do is we don't want it to be a reply. We need to change the subject to not that. <laughs> um, what we want to do is we want add a recipient. And we want to change the subject to hashtag turn off. And then you can create an automated reply. So this I will say So I'm going to say type an email saying this is an automatic turning off trigger based on the input current being too high. Okay. So essentially we're sending all of that and then you can add whoever however who, however many other email addresses you want. So I normally would add my personal email address here. Okay, let's add it and save, and then we can go and click save. So as you'll see, I've got now, these are my old ones, oh, I didn't want to edit it. Delete that one. I can delete that one. Okay, so now I want to create a new trigger because that's turning it off. So trigger on. Now we're going to need essentially this. So we're turning it on exactly the same email address. So, first of all, what we need to know is what does the email start with? It is alarm cleared with that. Okay. So it's a subject and it starts with, we want to put down the exact thing, add it. Now we want to email, let's edit the email, start a new one. Let's go and add the correct email address. And my personal email address. And then the subject must be Here, And then we can save. And we click save. So now because I had previous triggers here, we would have seen that it, it's already run once. So what I've done is I've updated mine now 
to turn on and off a light just because it's it's the room that I'm sitting in so it's easier for me to verify if it works what I'm going to do is I'm going to view my activity so you see that happened at 10:42 when I did these emails but let's test it again um, okay so now what I can do I want to close this and then I particularly I can delete this now let's get rid of these two I, I personally don't like the sidebar that comes up because of this extension. Is it now going to do it or not? Okay, but essentially, I don't enjoy that because now it's going to show up on all my emails. So what I want to do is I'm going to disable it. And now I'm going to test it. Okay. So at the moment there shouldn't be anything. Any alarms? Oh, there is an alarm. So it's currently active which makes sense. So I'm going to change this back and save all changes. So now I should get the turn on command. So you see the last command that was is turning off the fish pond. Now we should get a turn on command after 60 seconds. Okay and then you'll see that the state will change and you'll get an email about that and your device will turn on or off for whichever state that you change it to. Um, yeah so thank you very much everyone for staying this long into the video and the links these links are going to be in the description below. I really hope it helps someone. Um, with, uh, with ours I've got a, a Victron Venus and I was able to do everything of this sort and it really has helped me especially with uh, doing some peak shaving. Um, but as, I, as I've heard and seen on the community that you can use something called um, Node Red or something of that sort. I haven't looked into it myself, but I'll definitely look into it at some stage. But it, uh, using this method, it's amazing what you can, what you are able to implement because you can send yourself messages, WhatsApps, you name it, um, just using the different protocols and if this, then that. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Please, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll try and help you. I, I'm planning on making a few more videos on my um, installation, as well as the settings and how to set stuff and optimally um, just make your, your, your user interface look a little bit better, and uh, including um, a reporting method uh, in terms of verifying your electricity bill, etc. And this is mainly for the South African market. But yeah, anyway, thanks so much guys, cheers and enjoy and uh, keep safe.